Hello to you travellers and welcome back to the Best Career Channel here on YouTube. Back in a modding tutorial for FC24. Ladies and gentlemen, if you clicked on this video, it's because you want to learn how to mod your game. This is title update number six in the modding tutorial series on this channel. We're going to show you how to find mods, how to get mods, how to install mods, and how to make sure your mods are working. So if this little video does indeed help you mod your FIFA, please do give it a big fat old thumbs up. And uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you as part of our community right here on the RuneSkin YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're going to dive it straight in. Feel free to pause the video as we go to make sure you are following the steps correctly. And feel free to also ask in the comments down below any sort of questions you need regarding your mods, any sort of issues you may have. Uh, leave down there and i will reply to you last bit of information in the description down below right at the top of the description you'll see regents plays the brand new second channel ladies and gentlemen be sure to subscribe to regents plays we're trying to get our first 1000 subscribers over there all things gaming on the regents plays youtube channel link in the description down below let's get into this tutorial so first thing as always go to google on whatever platform whatever uh, browsing platform you use i use opera GX. you can use google edge bing whatever the hell you want type in fifa mod manager and you see up here fifa editor tool you click on this download button you can also scroll down you can see reading skin we have plenty of tutorials so if you ever want to help we have title update four or five we're doing every single title update this year so whenever there is a title update and your mods don't work come back to this channel and there will be a fresh tutorial for your eyeballs with the new title update and any new bit of, uh, bit of information that you may need. Click on this purple download button. For you, it might be blue if you've never clicked, uh, never clicked it before. And it will bring you right here. We want the mod manager on the right-hand side. So click on this purple download button. And it will take you to the mega... Dot .nz. Then down here on the right, you're going to click download. You want to make sure it is version 1.1. Point five. That is the latest update right now. You click on this green download button and it will download it onto your PC. Now once it's downloaded, it will be your download folders. What I like to do is go into my D drive and I make a folder called FC24 Mods as you can see right here. Here are all of my FC24 mods. As you can see, I've not done title update 6 yet, so we are going to do it fresh for you today. You're going to get this right here, FIFA Mod Manager version 1.1.5. What you do is you right click it. And with WinRAR, or you can even do it with Windows 11 now, it says extract all, 7-zip, whatever you have. Uh, click extract here, and it will extract this FIFA Mod Manager fo uh, folder into a file like this. So it makes its own folder inside your FC24 mods. Double click on it, and you'll see here the purple and black. That is your application. So if you double click on FIFA Mod Manager and give it a second, it will load with your FIFA mod manager. Now, if it's your first time loading this, it will come up with a little box saying, what game would you like to use? Um, and obviously, if you're modding FC24, click on FC24. If you're modding still FIFA 23, click on FIFA 23. We're going to come back to that later because we don't need it right now. What I'm going to do, though, in my FC24 mods folder, what I do is I create a new folder called Title Update 6. So now I know all the mods in here, these are all Title Update 4 mods. These are all my Title Update 5 mods. And now these will be all of our title update six mods. We're going to come back to this mod folder once we actually download some mods. So we have our mod manager. We have our folder where we need our mods. Now the only thing left is to actually get the mods, ladies and gentlemen. So it's as simple as this. It's just use common knowledge. Type in FC24 mods and have a little peruse. There are some good websites like Nexus Mods, uh, FIFA Infinity. You can see how uh, long ago it was updated. Soccer Gaming and IMS are all the good ones. Again, if you scroll down, there's plenty of Regions Kid YouTube videos, right? We're everywhere in the modding scene on FC24, ladies and gentlemen. So first, we're going to check out Nexus Mods. Now remember, it is updated to tie update 6. So you need to make sure that these are updated. As you can see, the latest one is Title Update 5. So if you see Title Update 5, chances are they will not work. So we're going to ignore Nexus mods for now. And we're going to go to Soccer Gaming. Again, these have not been updated. I know that for a fact. Um, so these are still Title Update 5. Now, Title Update 5 may work. They may still work. Some will still work, but some will not. So it could be a risk. IMS mods, new base mod, 1 to 2 update plus Title Update 6. So IMS is working... For Title Update 6, what IMS gives you is authentic kits, missing wrong kits, clubs, national teams, branded banners, flags, scarves, Brazil clubs are included, uh, Roma Lazio, all their licensing and stuff like that, more than 60 real 3D faces. Wow, wow, wow. So if you scroll down, there's also pictures about what it is. So there are all the banners, the scarves and whatnot, the real life licensing, some player faces as well. I love the IMS mod. So what we're going to do is go down here. If I can actually click the X. Go down here. And it says part one to two update. That's the kits. 
Uh, three. Okay, so one, two, two, update. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take us here. While that's happening, I'm going to click part two. And I'm going to click part three. So just click I'm a human. It'll wait while three, one, click on get link. And it'll take you again to the mega. I'm a human. Three, two, one. Click get link. Three, two, one. Click get link. So it takes you over here. Click on download in the bottom right there. Again, I've not downloaded it yet, of course, because I've not got title of day six. So these are all new for me as well. We're going to click download and wait for them to go. Depending on your internet, it could be fast. It could be slow. That's entirely dependent on whatever internet you have. I have pretty decent internet, but it does cap you on mega at a certain point. So you just have to wait for it. And it should pop up in the top right. There we go. Part one is done. So we can close that. Oh, part three is done. So it's just part two we're on. Now, there's not a lot of mods because Tile Update 6 just came out yesterday. So sometimes you have to wait a couple of days for the mods to actually update themselves. But we have a few up our sleeves. So once all the mods are done, go into your downloads. You'll see them all here. All I do is uh, highlight all of them, drag them into Tile Update 6 and drop them. And now they're all in. Uh, if you go FC24 mods, Tile Update 6, they're all here. Now you just need to export them. So part one. I'm going to click WinRAR Extract here, and it's uh, going to extract part two, WinRAR Extract here. It's going to extract, and then part three, WinRAR Extract here. It's going to extract, and then you don't need these WinRAR files anymore, so you can delete them. And there we have our first title update six mods. So what you do is you open up Mod Manager, and now we need to get them into our Mod Manager. So this might be empty for you, or it might have some mods that you've used before. If it has a little yellow exclamation mark next to it, that means the mod is outdated. It's an old mod and most likely will not work. As you can see, most of mine are like that. So, uh, drag and drop part one in. And again, this one does not have the yellow exclamation mark because it's going to work. Click apply mods and it goes to the bottom. Part two, apply mods. Part three, apply mods. And all three of those mods are now in, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you go to Patreon and go to MH82 Mod, ladies and gentlemen, this is the guy that makes all the TV logos, as you can see up here. They used to be on Twitter, but now they're on his Patreon. But a lot of his stuff is free. As you can see here, if it says free, all you do is click on this little link down here and it'll download it in your in the top corner. It starts downloading it. So you can get his mods for, three, uh, for free as well. Look, extended player editor. I'm going to click download and it'll get it. So you can go down and choose what logo you want. That's Sky Sports 2020. Uh, I want the Sky Sports one. I want BT Sport. I'll take I'll take Paramount as well. Why not? You literally just click on the blue link and you start downloading them. It's so simple. So all of these mods, again, you just click. Uh, you find all of your mods and you drag into Title Update 6. It brings them all over. I've already brought these ones, so I don't need to extract them again. So uh, we have the license for Syria. I'm going to click Extract here. And it's going to extract it there. Uh, TV logo, I'm going to click Extract here. And it's going to extract all of the TV logos. Probably not the smartest idea I've ever done. Uh, and then realism, extract here. And you can see it has a lot of mods in my title of day six now, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of mods that we need to get in to our mod manager. So they've all been extracted and there's a lot of mods to go through. Now, uh, Vietnam TV. There's an all-in-one mod. The, so, okay, I'm going to drag first and foremost realism mod. I'm going to get in. Then I'm going to get an all-in-one unlock mod in as well. Uh, player indicators mod. I want the delete players indicator because I like that. We don't need small player since I'm deleting it. I'm going to go for ball bounce marker. I'm going to drag in and click apply mod. Uh, career mode new sky sports I want in. TNT sports I want in. Uh, Premier League badge fix. I don't know what that is, but I want that in. License fix. I want that in. Mini faces, I want that in. Now, this might be included in the all-in-one anyway, but I'm going to get it anyway. EV logo, BT Sport, I want in. Uh, I'll take Sky Sports as well and apply that. And I think I'll take the Sky Sports one as well. Okay, so we added a lot of mods, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for the career mode news, you can only have one. I'm going to go TNT Sports to change it up. So I'm going to tick TNT Sports. Uh, we have the licensing, mini places, TV logo. You can only have one, so I'm going to have TNT Sports. Uh, like that. I'm going to get rid of these old ones that we can't use anymore. I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to keep some of our old mods just to see if they still work in title update six. I'm going to get rid of all of the MH82 ones since we have all of them updated now. MH82 can go and there we go. I'm going to keep the eSIM ones, which is camera mods and see if it works. So again, some old mods might work, some 
uh, might not work. I'm going to move the kit mod down to the bottom to see if the kit mod does indeed work. Same as the gameplay mod. Uh, and then we'll see if the eSIM ones work as well. Then, once you've installed your mods and applied them, all you do is click launch and it will start to launch your game. Oh, no, 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 no. Before you do that, open up EA, open up EA or Steam, go to your FC24, click on manage, click on view properties and make sure, I'm going to have this in the description, make sure dash data path FIFA mod manager exactly like this is in your launch options you can do this on steam as well i'll show you how to do it on steam as well so on steam you go to library you find uh your uh fifa game where is fifa here obviously i don't have fc24 here so you right click on your fifa game click on properties click uh, right here launch options you make sure dash data path fifa mod manager you can do it on fifa uh, or on steam and ea app you have to make sure that does it and then you can click play here or you can click launch in here it will do the same thing and you wait for your mods to be applied ladies and gentlemen while we are waiting please do leave a big fat thumbs up on this video it does really really help the channel the more likes and comments these videos get so please do leave a thumbs up subscribe with the bell turned on so you're notified when we upload on this channel as well and of course check out regents plays to brand new second channel ladies and gentlemen this video is sponsored by regents plays here on youtube ladies and gentlemen link in the description down below our first ever second channel is here all things gaming over on this channel except for sports ladies and gentlemen the regions kid channel is going to be the sport channel the career the best career channel on all of youtube and the regions plays is for everything else from shooters to strategy to horror and more over on the regions plays youtube channel so join us link in the description down below subscribe with the bell turned on so you're notified when we upload go and show some love to the first ever second channel in the brand new regents universe Hopefully we see you over there and enjoy. Here we go. Let's see what's working and what's not. Again, because I have old mods on, we may uh, run into a crash. We may run into something not working. And that's, I like when that happens, just so I can show you guys. If your game crashes or freezes or does not work, sometimes that's normal. Because you have old mods on or conflicting mods and stuff like that. So let's see together. Of course, it looks like it's working so far because the IMS background is on. So far, it looks so good. Yeah, you can connect to the EA servers. You will not get banned. You obviously can't play online. Uh, it will kick you out of your match if you have mods installed. If you want to play without mods, just delete the FIFA mod manager data path thing from your launch options and you'll be completely fine. There's the new title update 6 news. Uh, so if we're going to kick off. Oh, there's snow in the background. Christmas vibes. I like it. Go into kickoff and we'll go to the home team. We will do classic match. We will be Arsenal v Spuds. Okay, so... The kit mod, ladies and gentlemen, is not working right now. As you can see, we will not be able to use that for Okoro Chimwenwe. I think it's for all the teams that have a custom kit. It is indeed. Again, it's good to know. It's good to know. I quickly want to test just to see if the other mods are working. So we'll launch into a game. It might crash, but we'll have a look. And field. Oh, so look. So the TNT is working. The TNT Sports is working, the TV logo. There's no cursor, so that is working as well. Of course, we have the uh, scoreboard already. So there you go. You can see mods are working because the logo is working. I could, oh, the camera mod is not working because you can't zoom in all the way. So that one you need to wait to be updated, of course. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is as easy as that. That is how you apply mods to FIFA. Again, if your mods are busted or, or one's not working, all you do is you close down the game... And you have to get rid of the mods that aren't working. So I would untick this kit mod because it doesn't work. And then you just launch the game again. And you are good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this has been helpful for you modding tutorial for Title Update 6 of FC24. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Please do leave a thumbs up if, it did, uh, if you did enjoy. And it did help you. And subscribe to Regents Plays. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, happy modding. And I'll see you in the next one. Much of as always, take care and peace. Uh, and also, before you leave, before you leave... Uh, click on one of these two videos. I think they're like up here. That left and right. They're somewhere on the screen right. <laughs> they are. Yeah, there you go. Click click on click on one of them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you click on one of the videos, um, you can move on to the next one. Make sure you stay on this channel though. Reading's Kid channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. 50,000 around the corner. One of these. Hey. You know.